I fervently hope that MT is not just about competing and winning awards. Most importantly, it has to be about cultivating an innovative mindset within the society, bringing entrepreneurs as well as scientific and technology community, tech communities together to find common ground by collaborating and working towards bringing better technology solutions, innovative products to the world. I hope that this three days event will provide substantial opportunities for participants from multifarious backgrounds to not only display their innovations and inventions, but also to seize the opportunity to interact, discuss and exchange ideas on the latest techniques and technology that will eventually benefit all, inshallah. MTE provides a conducive platform for innovators to promote their invention through various innovative approaches as well as to expand. So this exhibition also allows them to find potential investors or customer to help in marketing and commercializing their invention products in the market. We need to continuously inspire, ignite and innovate our youth to make sure that they will become prosumer. We want to thank our partners, uh, Protan Group and team with over 20 years experience in organizing such an event for making this possible. We came from Poland, Vietnam, country Croatia, Iran, and the Taiwan, Bali, Indonesia. So far, it's been extremely interesting to see a broad range of technical and scientific endeavors. We made a lot of contacts regarding next step with the uh, university community and with real sector community. We are very glad uh, we are here and uh, for this uh, great exhibition. Very high performance and uh, that we show what the technology we have. It is indeed my privilege to welcome all participants to the Malaysia Technology Expo 2020 Special Edition, the COVID-19 International Innovation Awards. Thank you for joining us, especially all the international participants. Saya bagi pihak uh, Nadmah Malaysia uh, mengucapkan terima kasih dan juga
untuk syabas kepada NTE 2020 COVID-19. It is my pleasure to join you today at the Malaysia Technology Expo NTE 2020 Special Edition COVID-19 International Innovation Awards Ceremony to recognize and celebrate the hard work of those among us who constantly push the boundaries of innovation. I would like to congratulate all the winners as well as your team members who have been supporting you throughout your journey. MTE 2021 Virtual Edition will be the catalyst in encouraging innovators and inventors to share and inculcate innovativeness and sustainability in their research. Innovation is not just about making new and better products. It encompasses all aspects of ideas, processes, systems, services, methods and models. As large gatherings are no longer encouraged, I'm happy to see that the MTE has gone virtual. This will allow more innovators and to, to promote their innovation and share their ideas with the world. We look forward to university putting a strong effort to forge strategic collaboration with industry to generate new sizes, innovations and commercial activities. There may come a day in the near future when we have overcome this crisis, but our innovation may be able to assist another country in the fight against the pandemic. To lift student engagement and attainment in innovation and to support teachers and improve student outcome, innovation and techno brand mind. Involving youth at an earlier stage is important, especially as Malaysia is slowly but surely becoming a grey nation. Innovation alone is not sufficient. We must also create an infrastructure for incubation of ideas and transform them into successful ventures. Enhancing not only in the design but also the delivery of public goods and services for the people. Innovation in government is imperative not only to transform but also to stay ahead of change. The quick responses to protect the citizens from COVID-19 shows the unity of the nation. Know that your contribution is critical to the transformation of our country. I'm fully confident that this year's MPE IIA, albeit on a new normal platform and approach, has achieved its desired impact. It has been nurturing the innovation culture among scientists, researchers, students and startup founders in order for them to transform their ideas into business ventures.
Ladies and gentlemen, our next lined up program is a knowledge sharing session. Please enjoy. Flexible six script printing table merupakan meja cetakan berasaskan keadaan six script yang digunakan untuk mencetak image di dalam tapisan baju. Meja cetakan ini merupakan mereka bentuk yang baru dengan fungsi yang fleksibel. Manakala saiz yang lebih kecil dan mesra semua golongan. Plastik yang dibangunkan terbagi pada tiga bahagian utama iaitu rangka dalam, rangka luar dan juga pemegang blok. Antara ciri-ciri reka bentuk pattern yang boleh dilipat memudahkan kerja-kerja dilakukan dalam ruang yang sempit dan penyimpanan dan pemindahan dari satu tempat ke satu tempat yang lain. Bentuk pattern terdiri pada beberapa jenis mengikut jenis baju seperti baju kanak-kanak, dewasa serta lengan dan kaki seluar yang pelbagai bentuk telah digabungkan dalam satu unit fleksik. Ini membantu menyebabkan kos bagi satu-satu fungsi pattern. Saiz meja yang boleh dikecilkan dengan menutup pattern memudahkan kerja-kerja dilakukan di ruangan yang sempit seperti di pasar malam, car book sales atau di rumah. Lebih menarik, apabila rangka flagship boleh dilarang secara automatik ketinggiannya mengikut ketinggian pengguna menjadikan produk ini sangat sesuai digunakan oleh semua golongan termasuk kanak-kanak sekolah untuk sesi pembelajaran seni dan golongan yang kurang upaya terutamanya mereka yang berkerusi roda. Ciri-ciri lain seperti pattern dan pemegang blok yang diputar 360 rajah mengurangkan pergerakan pengguna yang berkerusi roda kerana tidak perlu bergerak dari satu meja ke satu meja yang lain. Maka dengan ini, produk Flexit telah membuka ruang golongan yang kurang upaya untuk mencana kekayaan sendiri. Ia adalah idea asli yang dicipta untuk meja cetakan berasaskan fabric yang fleksibel dan jimat ruang serta mesra kepada golongan kualainan upaya kanak-kanak dan mereka yang mempunyai masalah ketinggian. Sebelum ini, meja cetakan yang digunakan memerlukan ruangan kerja dan penyimpanan yang besar dan luas. Selain itu, ketinggian meja tidak mesra kepada semua golongan. Selain daripada itu juga, jenis pattern juga terhad dan satu fungsi sahaja memaksa pencetak membeli meja yang lain bagi fungsi yang lain. Ini memberi kesan kepada peningkatan kos pembelian. Itu merupakan kealisian inovasi fleksik yang dihasilkan merupakan meja cetakan yang unik dan tersendiri dengan ciri-ciri yang fleksibel dan jimat ruang serta mesra kepada semua golongan. Produk ini juga telah dipatenkan melalui Pride My Ipo. Dari segi pencapaian, Flexit telah pun menyertai pertandingan inovasi internasional Eureka 2018 di Kuning Kedah dengan mendapatkan pingat emas. Yang keduanya adalah pertandingan inovasi internasional CITE 2018 di Sirim Kedah dengan mendapatkan pingat perak. Pertandingan inovasi peringkat MARA iaitu MARATEK dan telah pun dianugerahkan sebagai anugerah inovasi harapan. Seterusnya, pertandingan inovasi cabaran inovasi inklusif Zong Timur dan tempat ketiga kategori kerajaan. Dianugerahkan geran bernilai RM50,000 untuk dikomersialkan oleh Yayasan Inovasi Malaysia. Mereka merupakan kerjasama fleksi dengan agensi-agensi lain. Yang pertamanya adalah kerjasama dengan Jabatan Kebajikan Masyarakat Malaysia. Yang keduanya adalah kerjasama dengan SME Corp Malaysia. Dan yang ketiganya adalah kerjasama dengan Yayasan Inovasi Malaysia di bawah Kementerian Mosti. Pasti dari komitmen pengurusan, yang pertama melalui bantuan kewangan, sumber manusia, insentif penghargaan dalam pertandingan inovasi peringkat dalaman dan kebenaran menggunakan palatan dan ruang bengkel maka sebanyak 12 unit fleksi telah berjaya dibangunkan dan dikomersialkan Saya Ayu, peniaga pasar malam Bagi pendapat saya, fleksi ini memang sesuai untuk perniagaan yang tidak mempunyai tempat tetap sebab ianya fleksibel dan ringan Senang untuk dibawa ke mana-mana sahaja. Saya tengok dan saya gunakan uh, produk ni uh, sangat bagus dan menyimakkan space. Kalau sebelum ni kita ni kita ada table. So benda ni dia kalau saya tengok dia portable lah dia boleh lipat. So boleh simpan lah. So space yang ada tu kita boleh buat kerja-kerja lain lah dalam ruangan office ni. Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Selamat pagi okay, So hari ni saya nak berkongsi okay, Dan saya nak share testimoni Tiga ialah dia boleh turun naik So dia boleh laraskan lah Sama ada contoh macam saya tinggi okay, Saya boleh laraskan mengikut Keselesaan dan kesesuaian saya lah okay? Dan 
dia juga di, bagus untuk mereka yang uh, kurang upaya contoh dia lumpuh ke apa kan tengah duduk sambil duduk pun kita boleh buat juga benda ni Hai Assalamualaikum saya Eddie Azri salah seorang penerima mesin flexit kini saya akan tekankan 5 kelebihan mesin flexit bagi golongan kelainan upaya ok yang pertama ialah mesin flexit ini sangatlah efisien dan produktif seperti yang anda lihat ia mempunyai empat meja yang dapat membantu production atau penghasilan dengan lebih cepat selain itu ia juga boleh dilaraskan mengikut ketinggian dan kesesuaian individu yang kedua ialah mesin flexit ini amatlah bersesuaian dengan golongan kelainan upaya sebagai contoh saya sendiri menggunakan kursi roda ataupun wheelchair bagi kami golongan wheelchair uh, mempunyai sedikit kesulitan dalam uh, mendapat pekerjaan kerana tidak semua uh, pekerjaan mempunyai kawasan ataupun environment wheelchair friendly yang ketiga ialah mampu menjana pendapatan sendiri dengan adanya mesin taksi ini kita hanya perlu bekerja dari rumah dan tuanan boleh dilakukan secara online ataupun e-dakan yang keempat ialah menimba ilmu baru dengan adanya mesin flexi ini secara tidak langsung kita akan belajar cara untuk membuat desain membuat video serta fotografi ok yang kelima yang paling penting sekali ialah jimat kos dan masa setiap bahan dan masa yang diperlukan dalam penghasilan satu produk amatlah sedikit oleh itu kita dapat menjana income dengan lebih banyak dan cepat melalui modal yang sedikit. Assalamualaikum, saya Nurul Asyikin daripada program uh, program um, Flexit. Okay. Saya dapat pengetahuan asas tentang pencetakan baju yang telah kami belajar masa uh, program itu. Lepas itu, uh, saya juga dapat kemahiran membuat cetakan blok dan saya berjaya juga membuat cetakan blok sendiri saya. Lepas itu, saya juga boleh buat blok sendiri. Lepas tu saya juga tahu tentang kemahiran bacuhan uh, warna cetakan, warna-warna yang telah dibagi oleh cikgu. Lepas tu, uh, apa tu, flexi uh, ni uh, dia mudah untuk disimpan. Uh, sekarang dah ada tiga tempat yang saya buat. Uh, lepas tu, saya dah be, uh, boleh menjadi income saya sendiri uh, melebihi, lebih kurang dalam seribu buat masa sekarang ni. Assalamualaikum. Uh, kalau daripada apa yang saya belajar, apa yang saya dapat daripada khusus dengan yang mesin ni dan saya dapat uh, pengetahuan asas untuk macam mana nak cetak baju uh, saya boleh belajar buat blog, sekali saya tahu macam mana buat blog untuk cetak baju lepas tu kemahiran uh, masih banyak lagi lah kena belajar tapi macam mana nak bantu warna untuk cetakkan baju tu uh, saya dah faham lah uh, saya tahu uh, dan ni lah, saya pun dah dapat satu job yang mula-mula memang sempur saja lah Baju catering, dan first job ni tak banyak lagi lah Dalam 200 lebih uh, Tapi first job kan Memang suka lah <laughs> Buat cetak baju Dan uh, mesin uh, Flexit ni memang flexible Wah akan datang saya ada planning nak buat lagi Untuk kedai Rungkit saya ni Buat nanggung rungkai untuk uh, Macam customer nak beli untuk satu rahat Tak ada plastik bag tu uh, Memang saya planning nak buat Kemudian saya nak buat t-shirt untuk kami yang kena-kena ni Dia kena rungkit saya ni lah Untuk saya nak kena buka t-shirt Dan saya, insya Allah saya terberani ke lah untuk open Andi Blok Buah lagi okay, Assalamualaikum, saya Nora Zulila Syafiqin uh, Student yang dapat bantuan fisik uh, apa ni Yang bulan 9 baru ni, Alhamdulillah Asyik bersyukur sangat Puas hati sebab dapat buat t-shirt sendiri um, uh, apa dengan dapat printing sendiri biasa kita tempah orang sekarang ni kita buat sendiri jadi alhamdulillah rasa syukur sangat uh, alhamdulillah juga insyaallah tahun depan uh, ramai member-member dah siap uh, buat tempahan untuk buat printing sebab dah kita tahun jadi uh, insyaallah tahun depan mungkinlah tak cukup tangan lah kot kaki tangan kot nak buat t-shirt siap dengan printing sekali Uh, tu sajalah kata rezeki uh, kata hasil daripada print masuk apa kelas black seat ni alhamdulillah orang uh, kata rezeki daripada Allah orang uh, kata tak tahu tak jangka lah pula kata <laughs> uh, okey 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 sekian saja terima kasih
Hello, I'm Miro from Adelaide in South Australia, uh, Stem Cell Foundation, and I would like to congratulate MTE 2021 for the 20th anniversary of their event. Congratulations, and I look forward to many new innovations Hello, my name is Fiona Morris and I am the Education and Science Councillor based at the Australian High Commission in Kuala Lumpur. On behalf of the Australian High Commission, I would like to congratulate MTE on their 20th anniversary and wish them many more years of success ahead. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taalaahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. I'm Bahrain Buang from IKM Dumod. We'd like to introduce my innovation team member. From right of the picture is Muhammad A. Abdul Wahid, Salinda Muhammad Ashad and Zairul Anwar Zambi. I would like to propose our innovation idea, Actionable Drilling Device, EDD. Problem, let's use a long spring wire. Oh no, this is really long. And how do I use this? It's easy to tangle. We need at least two people to work with this. Huh, let's use chemical substances. Hey, stop. Hmm? Do you know if you use the chemical substance, it can cause your sink rust? And it also harmful for us if the chemical contact with our skin and eyes. So what should we do? Okay, now I will explain about the component of our innovation, extendable drilling device EDD. EDD has two set, which a piece of EDD connection, this one, and drill seal. The function of drill seal is to cut EDD pieces and to prevent them from tangle. The first uh, EDD pieces has a drill bit like this and steel connector. Next, uh, the other EDD pieces have steel connector at the end of both sides. This side and this side. Okay, uh, we use cordless drill to operate ADD set. Now I will demonstrate how to use ADD set. First step, connect the ADD pieces, the one with drill bit, with another pieces. Like this. Okay. For safety, the steel connector have hole to put this pin. Like this. Put EDD pieces inside the drill shield like this. Okay. And then attach to cordless drill like this. Okay, and then put uh, the seal drill to the drill, like this. And uh, we can put this uh, EDD inside the silver pipe. And we on the, uh, the, the drill to get the rotation of EDD.
Bagi ada mana? Depan sikit. Sini. Depan sikit. Ha, depan sikit. Okey. Okey. Okay. 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 Nowadays, badminton had been a common sport in Malaysia. As we know, Malaysia also has the best player in badminton. But as we can see in court, most players still do their recollecting shuttlecock manually when they're training. What if we had some machine that can collect all the shuttlecock and can reduce player energy? Introducing shuttlecock collector machine using PS2 controller and Arduino Mega 2560. This is the PS2 controller that controls the movement of the machine and the conveyor. It has four directions which is forward, reverse, right and left. Lastly, button to run the conveyor to collect the shuttlecock. How it works? This part is how the machine is collecting the shuttlecock. When the conveyor moves, it will swap out all the shuttlecock all the way to the basket at the back of the machine. So all the shuttlecock collected will be in the basket safely. For our target market are the badminton training center, coach and also athlete. The benefits of this project is it reduces human energy when pick up the shuttlecock. Pick up at a lot of amount shuttlecock. Reduce time of collecting the shuttlecock during training or event. The uniqueness of this project is it is the only shuttlecock collector that use controller. 50% of the machine are made from recycled items. This project is also user friendly and it is a high speed automation.
usually feel bored during my classes because my teachers are always using the same method to teach which are presentations by using slides or the whiteboard which makes me sleepy sometimes and I am unable to focus in class. In my many years of teaching, one of the greatest problems I see in my students is that they have very short attention span to listen to plain lectures. I would love to see my students to have lively engagement with the subject I am teaching. When our project leader, Ian, came up to me, he said he wanted me to make an application for his board game called Lico. So what Lico was supposed to be was a board game in which you can customize the questions on the board by slotting the cards in and out by using different sets of cards. And I thought, why not we just use one set of cards and customize the questions inside the app? And I can safely say that we have managed to achieve that goal. Introducing Lico. The universal board game everyone has been waiting for. Lico comes with a customized board with card slots, a set of encrypted QR code cards, dice and player piece, and its very own integrated game app. Among the major problems that Lico targets to solve includes that most educational based games tend to be too subject specific where these kind of games, they tend to offer very restricted flexibility in terms of exchanging subject matters. So, in this framework, when we start to consider the cost of a single game for each subject, it becomes irrational. As of my overall experience using LICO, I would like to suggest to educational institutions to implement the usage of LICO for studying purposes. And I also believe that students will highly benefit from using such a product for revising educational items. As an experienced teacher, I'm really impressed with what LICO brings to my students. LICO has really made my students engage with the subject content by heart. This is one of the most revolutionary products that I hope will be in the public market soon. Imagine being able to share a single board game with any age group. LICO allows it to be possible by the touch of a button. It is important for us to realize that having a flexible tool of learning is essential in today's dynamic learning process. We are confident that LICO will be a hit when it reaches the market for personal consumers, households with kids, and teachers of a wide variety of students. In addition to that, we are specifically targeting educational institutions to be one of our primary target markets. This is to ensure LICO is being used up to its maximum potential which is to accommodate a variety of learning needs. Our projected business model will be on a one-time purchase of the board game and individual subject purchases in the built-in game app. Consumers can choose to buy pre-made questions as an in-app purchase. On top of that, we have a business model that is specially made for educators, in which educators can submit their unique questions designed for their class. Uh, okay guys, that's all for our today's lesson for WIMS. I think let's play some Lico. Ah, uh, sir, I don't understand this question. Which one? Yes, this question. Oh, the answer is A because it is longitudinal. Oh, yeah. now I understand.
Around the world, lightning strikes more than 8 million times every day, 100 times a second. A ball of lightning superheats the surrounding air, causing it to terrifically expand and explode. But when it does strike, delivering a trillion watt of electricity, enough energy to power entire city and cause many death. Lapsa team from Amazon Trenda presenting the project Lightning Alarm Dangerous Strike Alert System. The problem that we are facing now is there are about an average 12.5% of lightning related fatalities in Malaysia per year. And the alarm system that we are using now in Malaysia expensive and it's important. The alarm system too is not stable and easily corrupted. The objective to develop low cost and local product to invent a stable and a consistent system to design an automated and compatible system. Our system receives numerous lightning waveforms every day. It analyzes and came out with one standard dangerous lightning strike. And we use it as a benchmark in our two processes, which is image processing and also signal processing. First, image processing, we use soft methods, speeded up reverse pictures. It just compares the strongest points between benchmark and also new waveform. And it is not accurate. After the image processing, the data is sent to the signal processing to get a more accurate result. The system is using the cross correlation method which is compare every single point of the standard waveform and the new waveform. This is the first intersect point. After the intersect point, the new waveform is lower than the standard waveform. It indicates that it is within 7 kilometers. The red LED will light up, silent will emit. This is another waveform. Curve after the intersect point is higher than the standard waveform, it indicates it's 7 to 20 km. So, the yellow LED will light up. The green LED will always light up to show the area is clear. In the process to implement our own LASSA system, within one and a half year, made an expertise from Faculty of Electronic and Computer Engineering from UTEM to get consultation for our research about lightning. We are able to Install our own laser system in our school at MRSM Terenda. Now we are going to show you a demo. This is all the components, uh, which is antenna, buffer circuit, microscope, MATLAB, and Raspberry Pi. Actually, already installed in our laser system. Mosquito killer racket, production of spark for stimulation of lightning. Our antenna will capture the wide range of electromagnet from the lightning, and after that, our buffer circuit will filter the frequency. Uh, and the analog signal from buffer circuit will be digitized in the microscope. The digital signal will be analyzed by the MATLAB so that it, it can analyze the data and command just verify to turn on the LED light according to distance of the dangerous lightning strike. The novelty of our system self program It has a neural network approach and also it is an artificial intelligence. It is very cheap because it may be local and also affordable. It is stable and also consistent system because we use two methods which is image processing and also signal processing to get accurate and also sensitive result. We, our system also compatible system because we use cross-platform programming and also multiple language for debugging. Our future marketing plan is to be the first innovator in Malaysia to develop fully automated monitoring LASA system. The whole LASA system will be fully conducted by machine, artificial intelligence neural network. Cloud-based data monitoring will be used in LASA system. 
Lexa system will be connected to smartphone for user friendly or the information via SMS and email. Durable fiber optic communication in Lexa system to get high bandwidth, longer distance, low security risk, and small size. Lapsa system is stable, auto monitoring, consistent and compatible system. Lapsa system is user friendly and easy modified system.